That's so very cool. That was the scene at Sphere in Las Vegas last night as Fish played their second of four sold out shows at the Cutting Edge Music Venue. Fish is just the second act after U2 to play Sphere, which boasts a one of a kind live experience of sight and sound. Chris Van Cleve caught up with the band this week to get a behind the scenes look at how they're creating four unique shows for their devoted fans. Chris, welcome. Good morning. They may not have had the mainstream success of U2 or Taylor Swift, but Fish has been wowing audiences for more than 40 years. In fact, only Billy Joel has sold out more shows at Madison Square Garden. Now their aim this weekend is not just to put on a rock concert, but to be at the forefront of a brand new form of entertainment. Whether they're turning Madison Square Garden into an underwater playground. You said I come from the land, darkness. You said I come from the land, too. Staging a live rock opera with dancers and puppets. Dazzling crowds with an elaborate light show. Or just bouncing around. Fish has always added a theatrical element to their live performances. Now they're taking it up a notch with four shows at Sphere in Las Vegas. It's the culmination of nearly a year's worth of work. But the idea for these shows began before Sphere was even built, when guitarist Trey Anastasio attended a hockey game with Madison Square Garden executive chairman James Dolan. His company owns Sphere. I go to a lot of Rangers games. <laughs> <laughs> so I will sometimes be eating dinner and near Jim Dolan, who thought of this whole thing right. up. He started showing me iPad videos of this crazy idea a few years ago. So I had heard about it, and I wanted to get in there. <laughs> what was it about the sphere that made you want to get in there? Entirely new form of entertainment. The Wild West is a very hyper-directional sound system. It's so hyper-directional that you can stand on an X in front of it and hear a song, and the singer will be singing in French, and you can step to the right, and the singer is singing in Spanish. It's that. It's like laser sound. Fish follows U2, who opened Sphere with 40 shows from September to February. But unlike the Irish rock legends, who played mostly the same set list each night, Fish is putting together four entirely different shows, each featuring a distinct list of songs, all with a stunning immersive experience using Sphere's 160,000 square foot screen and a 3D sound system powered by more than 1,600 speakers, and all of it tailored to each individual song. No one comes to Vegas for a residency of four nights. Right. Why are you doing four, not 40 or 400? Well, we like to have every show be unique. It's just what we do. And we were in discussions about adding shows, and the option was either to repeat the four nights exactly, which we've never done in 41 years, or put up a second weekend of shows that would be really good, but not astounding. And we wanted them to be astounding. To help make that presentation astounding, Fish enlisted Abigail Holmes as show director and co-creative director. The former Disney Imagineer has worked with Cher, Shakira, The Cure, and on Roger Waters' performance of The Wall in Berlin. They're going to do a different set every night. Yeah. Does that mean you have to innovate four completely different shows? We are doing that exactly. And, they, and I will also say that they are long shows. Fish does a long show. So we're looking at 12 to 14 hours of unique performance. From a perch high up in Sphere, Holmes is in command of the visuals the audience sees on the massive screen. They're completely improvisational or highly improvisational. And we have gone to great lengths and pushed a lot of technological innovations to allow us to manipulate all of our visuals in real time. They can all be modified, evolved, and manipulated to follow what the band is playing rather than being locked into something. We practiced, I'm gonna say, train wrecks. You practiced train wrecks? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm now gonna throw you a curveball, production team. How, what are we gonna do when this happens? So that the whole goal is that the four band members can, at the time of walking on stage, walk on with no plan, with, with no restrictions. Talent is easy. 
Hands and I'm up before the dawn. For 41 years now, that spirit of freedom and improvisation has defined Fish, comprised of Anastasio, bass player Mike Gordon, drummer John Fishman, and keyboardist Paige McConnell, who we spoke to moments before the band started just their second rehearsal at Sphere. What's going to make this different than a Fish show somebody maybe saw at Madison Square Garden or somewhere else you played? We've never done anything like this. We've never done a show where we've sort of created visual content for all the songs that we'll be playing and, and different, different content for all four nights. We've set it up so that musically we're not hindered or tethered in any way. Has it been hard to keep it a secret, what's coming? It was a little bit. It was really fun when, when U2 was playing and there was all this speculation about what the next, who the next band would be to play here. And I knew that we were going to be the next band and reading all these things about, well, it's got to be the Rolling Stones or Springsteen or someone like that. And so it, for us to get this opportunity feels really special. While Fish has shared the stage with superstars like Bruce Springsteen and Jay-Z, they've made it to Sphere without a hit song, heavy radio play, or a multi-platinum record. People are going to hear that Fish is the second band into the Sphere, and there are a lot of people watching this who's going to be like, who? Yep, correct. And what you're saying is completely true. I think it's been, when we talk about it today, the four of us, we feel like that may have been the greatest blessing that could ever have happened. There were periods in our history where we thought it was a little weird that a band that could have the kind of success that we've had, that we've been blessed with, would be so unknown. And then as the years progressed, we started thinking this, is, this, is, this might be the best thing that ever, the biggest gift of all of them, that we were able to stay sort of under the radar. It probably takes some of the handcuffs off that a Beyonce or a Lady Gaga doesn't Yes. Doesn't necessarily have you're that never kind of trying, you're, okay. you're never trying to measure up to your previous success if you've never had any. <laughs> now, Trey says he feels that four decades in, Fish is just now starting to hit their stride. They have a tour and a new album this summer. You know, I asked him if he thought the band might turn Sphere into the fishbowl again. He said, for sure. You know, they're, they're, they're like the most famous band you never heard of. Exactly. I've been hearing right. about them for decades. Right. Longevity is truly their secret to success, whatever success. Four decades in. They, yeah. And he says he's still hitting his, just hitting just his stride. Right. 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 And I love that they practice mistakes. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That is very cool. You know, it's such a complicated venue. And if you're not in it, you don't feel the scope of it. Like, it just doesn't come across. But they had to have a plan for when they just decided to jam for 15 minutes. It feels time. like a perfect, perfect fit.